Well, hey, Pipers. Welcome back to the Bass Piper channel. Oh, it's about, about three minutes before the 12 o'clock noon hour here on Monday afternoon, almost Monday afternoon. Hey, guys, I just wanted to uh, take a minute and um, show you a yabo I got. Uh, actually, an order I got in from smokingpipes.com. And... Um, I just want to take and show you a few things uh, that I got. Let me reach for my box here. Hold on a minute. I just opened up the box and um, just and took all the shipping paper mess out of it. But um, let me see if I can do this without dropping the box in the floor. Um, I picked up. Saint Espresso by Warp, and um, this stuff, uh, of course, you know, Warp and uh, Cornell and Deal go go in together and make up these blends, these small batch blends that have limited, uh, or at least they start out limited. Uh, I guess if they do well, they end up putting it in the in the roster with the other Warp blends, but. Um, I opened up a can of this right before I did the video, and um, it's got a great, great room note. It's got, um, let me take this out and kind of show you without spilling it. The room note is automatically got a, a chocolate uh, coffee, uh, flare to it and um, on the back of the uh, on the back of the can it basically if I can read it with my glasses a unique triad of distinct Cavendish variants each carefully steamed and toasted combined to evoke the velvety body and rich flavor of fine espresso. And it just goes on and talks about the coffee-inspired blend and that type of thing. So I'm anxious to try this. If you're an aromatic lover, um, might be worth checking into. I'll let you know what I think of it after, after I try it. So I picked up a couple of cans of that. And, um, and then I try, I'm trying something for the first time. Uh, an English blend that I know curmudgeon Doug uh, loves this uh, particular blend. I've never had it, so I'm looking forward to it, and that's Maltese Falcon. And uh, I want to try that blend and uh, just see how that goes. So that's a new blend for me. I went and picked up a couple of bulk uh, blends as well. And... Um, of course, I got me some more of the Kramer's blend of Cary Grant. That is a good air, uh, aromatic. That is a good, uh, basically, I guess you would call it more of a English aromatic, I guess. Uh, but it has more of an English blend to it. Um, another one that I picked up, I bought this years, several years ago, and I wanted to try it again. Uh, and that is Lane Limited's HGL. And uh, if I remember, that was a good blend as well. Um, another one that I haven't had that I wanted to try is Kramer's Father Dempsey. So I've got uh, these blends that just come in, and uh, I'm leaning to get more Englishes into my... Um, repertoire, if you will, of tobaccos. Um, I like the aromatics, um, but I'm, I'm starting, as some of you all have done, my taste buds is going over more to dabble in the Englishes. And, uh, of course, as I've said before, I'm not a big Perique guy uh, and really not a big Oriental forward guy. Uh, and mainly because now, if like I said, it's kind of like with Burley, if it takes the caboose in the back and it's mild, okay, um, 
you know, I guess, you know, you can call me a finicky pipe smoker, but uh, if, I, if I smell and taste like an ashtray, that's got to go, especially around my wife. Uh, but in the Orientals and the Pariks, uh, I don't care for the tongue bite or the stinging and the spiciness, either in the back of your throat or on your tongue. Now, I know I might hit a little bit of that with Maltese Falcon, that type of thing, but you don't know until you try them. There's some you can deal with and some that's like, oh man, okay. Uh, you feel like your, your, fi your, your tongue or your back of your throat's on fire after you. I and mean, if you're a type of person that likes spicy type stuff, well, that'll fit you. Um, but anyway, uh, I want to try some more Englishes. Now, the Englishes, it's got the Cavendish, the Virginias, the Latakia, those kinds of things. They're great. I love those. And a lot of your Boswell blends are like that. I think JM's got a few that's got Perique in them. But um, those are the true Englishes that I like. Most of the time, I was always under the understanding that anything that you introduce Orientals in, it automatically basically becomes a Balkan blend, not an English blend. Uh, it's an English Balkan, I guess, as soon as you start dabbling into the Orientals and the Periques, because it adds the spice. And it took me a while as a new pipe smoker years ago that I thought the spicy was the Perique. But I'm finding out the Oriental is also the peppery spiciness as well. So anyway, um, you know, I'm a little finicky with that kind of thing. Like I said, it just depends on how much. Same thing with burley. If it's a burley light without the bite, if it's a, um, you know, just an aromatic, but it has a light burley in it, then, that, then that's pretty cool. Uh, the rest of it kind of overrides the burley. But uh, anyway, that's just me. But uh, the other thing I got, and you know, you can't go on smokingpipes.com without, you know, at least I can't, without looking into a pipe as well. I, uh, I started liking a few years ago before Onion really started putting his out there, and, and he's got a lot more than, I, than I've got, and that is the Savinelli 320s. And of course, Johnny's known for his 320s, and uh, I'm definitely not going to st stomp on his parade, that's for sure. Um, but I do, I do like, I mean, some of you guys don't because you don't like the bigger t uh, stems and the button area of the stem, and they are kind of bulk. They're fat and bulky when they, when they go on down to the end. But I did run across one. I've, I've seen it you know, for years. I've just finally pulled the trigger on it that I said, man, you know, I would love to, uh, I would love to um, get this pipe. And uh, let me show you what this one is. Let me get this out here now. If you can see this. This is the Savinelli. There's a blue stem on it. Brand new, and I want to say it's pronounced, it's Italian for elegance, but I want to say Alenskia. Uh, um, if, I, if I tore that up, I apologize. Um, or Eleganza, I guess is how you would pronounce this. It's pretty bad when you get a pipe and you can't pronounce what it is, but it's a beautiful pipe. But I show, I'm showing this so you can also see the stem. Some of you guys that might want to look at uh, trying a 320, because a nice cool thing about the 320s, they are a nice bowl to hold in your hand. They're just, it just fits for a man's hand. Uh, they're a good size bowl, and, uh, but it doesn't come this is more of a fishtail, I guess, stem on this. It doesn't come with that fat, rounded stem. So if you want to try a 320 from the bowl end, this makes an excellent pipe to do so. Sorry, my head's going everywhere but on the camera. But I'm going to put this back before I drop it. And um, But I just picked that up. Uh, along with the order last week and uh, actually 
I wasn't even supposed to have this until I thought Wednesday. I ordered on Saturday, uh, I, I'm sorry, Friday, and it was here um, uh, Sunday. So um, yesterday. So it, uh, it came faster than I thought. But, you know, smokingpipes.com, they've always had excellent customer service, and they get stuff right on out. And uh, let me set this down. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to take a minute and show you a little Yabo that I got. Normally, I don't show Yabos as far as what I order, as far as a box opening type thing. Um, very, very few. But uh, I may show you what I get, but I usually for half the time I forget to wait to open the box for the video. But anyway, um, I want to try these new English blends and aromatic English blends. Uh, or English aromatics, however you want to say it, and uh, see how they do. And um, the Cary Grant I had, I really loved that one. That one was good. And the thing I've noticed, too, about some of these, it's got the Orientals. It's also how you mix it. When you take it out of your jar or whatever you're taking it out of, and you mix it to put that into your pipe, it all depends on if you get more Orientals on that mix. <laughs> And you stuff it in your pipe and you pack it on down and you go, man, I don't remember the last time I had Cary Grant that this one was was stinging and biting, uh, you know. But a lot of times it's it's your mix, you know, that you might have a little more oriental in that particular one and, and vice versa. So anyway, guys, I just want to get on here for a minute. It's 11 minutes, man. Um to just show you what I was picking up and trying. And I hope I like the Maltese Falcon. I know a lot of you guys have raved about that and um, like it. And so uh, we'll see. You don't know until you try it. And um, you can go broke doing that these days with tobacco. That's for sure, as we all know. If you try to try everything out of there, yet yeah, you'll need, uh, you'll, you'll need uh, uh, Elon Musk money to be able to keep up, keep up with it. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to uh, let you know what I'd gotten there and try that. And uh, leave comments on, when you leave a comment, if you've tried any of these, Father Dempsey, um, uh, Maltese Falcon, uh, HGL Lane, uh, Lane Limited, let me know what you think about it uh, in the comments. And I'm gonna give it a shot. And uh, next video, I'll probably try and one out with a pipe but I didn't have time to get one together today. So um, I just wanted to show you guys those things. And hey, look, I want to say this. Thank you for all those that have subscribed already to me on Rumble. Uh, subscribe, so subscribers are going up. I see more guys are coming over. And that's a smart thing, guys. And uh, good to see you guys over there. And everybody that has subscribed to me, I've tried to get back and subscribe to you. And uh, as I said, the cool thing is, is just like this video, I know within a matter of maybe within the hour, uh, not only will it be here on YouTube, but it'll be over there on Rumble too. And any of you guys that see this on Rumble, if you haven't subscribed to me on uh, YouTube, hop over there to my YouTube channel, same thing, Bass Piper, um, and give me a, uh, give me a sub. Um, I don't know how the subs work. If you, if you sub on Rumble, will it carry over to YouTube? I, I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it don't. I don't know. But anyway, and anybody else that's viewing this, uh, you know, I don't really say this a lot of my video uh, videos, but uh, give me a like if you like the video and, uh, and uh, hit the bell and uh, whatever you got to do there to uh, get the algorithms to get stirred up a little bit. I'd appreciate it. And um, until next time, I'm going to get on out of here because I got to do my walk. Uh, every, every afternoon about this time, I go out for my daily walk and, uh, still trying to get this weight off guys and down 25 pounds and, uh, got about, Oh, let me see. I'm at, I'm at 260 now from 285. So yeah, we got another 60 pounds to go. So <laughs> we got a little, little journey to get through here, but hopefully by October, at least by Christmas. Uh, I'll be close zeroing in on, on uh, that 200 pound mark. But anyway, uh, it's 14 minutes. We're going to run. Listen, you guys relax and have a pipe and don't forget to count the many blessings that God gives you each and every day. And oh, by the way, if you haven't heard, 
Um, be in prayer, um, uh, if you would, for, um, oh, me. I'm trying to remember his name. It just slipped. Oh, uh, Mel. Garbage Man Piper. Uh, he lost his father uh, over the weekend. And um, we definitely need to send prayers up for his family. And Mel, you know we're praying for you, buddy. I got your comment uh, that you made. And brother, if you need us for anything, let us know. We definitely be praying for you. And uh, just want to put that in for my subscribers as well. Mel Garbage Man Piper. Uh, be in prayer for him. And also, I want to say before I run, a, an apology to Ethan. A few parsimonious Piper, a few video uh, back videos that I made back. I kept calling him Nathan. It was the one that I shouted out a bunch of new subscribers, and I had Nathan on the brain. I ended up calling Ethan Nathan about two two or three times. So uh, Ethan, I'm sorry, buddy. It's what happens when you get old. My mind's getting you know it's it's skipping a few gears every now and then. But uh, anyway, brother, we love you. And uh, sorry for that, man. I know who you are. And uh, I was getting ready to say, I know who you are, Bob. And so, uh, but Ethan, God bless you, buddy. And uh, listen, guys, we'll talk with you later. Uh, we'll uh, get back, hopefully, with one of these blends here and uh, try it out. And I'll let you know what I think about it. You guys take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.